Greetings, Lost Ark Director Gold River here. Hello, haha, Lost Ark Director Gold River here. Currently, the first clear race for Day Mine is really heated. And as we had promised, as we have made the bet with the players, uh, the battle between us, we won. <laughs> But for one week, we were watching, for this week, we were watching all of you struggling to get that first clear. It was like watching the World Cup. It was really exciting and all the passion made us cheer for you throughout the process. Of course, we're talking about Daymine here where we were cheering for Daymine, not you guys, haha. <laughs> Lost Dark, a lot of you are enjoying it. But also for those who are not enjoying Lost Dark, this first clear event has been the hot topic all around. And thankfully, a lot of players actually came to Lost Dark, came back or came to Lost Dark after the Eclipse update happened. This heat this passion we're feeling it at our studio as well the developers of lost ark are watching over all of your endeavors and every day amongst ourselves all we do is talk about the first clear event who's gonna get it and what teams at which stage this is one of the best experiences that we can get as we can have as developers. And you guys are allowing us to have it. And I'm extremely thankful. Sincerely, sincerely, extremely thankful for all this cheering, all this, all this reaction, all of this interest we really did obtain great satisfaction. Uh, from the from this morning, we saw that a lot of players were sending us satisfaction notes gifted, like packaged. That, that was on Invin, I think he's talking about. And I'm really thankful for that. That people made like this uh, this notice, this announcement about uh, players presenting the devs with uh, satisfaction, which is what the bet was about. Players will get a gift, and uh, if the devs won, they would get satisfaction. And uh, thinking over about this uh, satisfaction, it's not, we, we, we're not feeling it because of us winning this bet. It's rather because all of you, you guys, are giving Lost Ark such great interest and all this love. And we could wholeheartedly feel that. And so, again, I'm extremely grateful. Also, to all those players who are adventurers for taking the challenge, aiming for that first clear. I have nothing but respect for that endurance, all those efforts, that passion. For more than a week, all of you are trying to overcome this enormous wall, this enormous obstacle. You keep challenging, you keep challenging yourselves, you're putting in effort, you're immersing yourselves in the experience and you're communicating with your teams. Fine-tuning aspects as well, feedback. Sometimes you feel let down. Sometimes you're disappointed. And then you get back up. And then you go on. And watching all of that, it felt like not just it felt like Lost Ark had become something more than a game. 
it felt like watching a very moving piece of drama of movie. And we know that going up against a challenge like this, there is a lot to it. You need great energy and patience, endurance, more than we can feel through the screen. We know that, and for that, we only have so much respect. For any passerby, they might say, hmm, why do you put in that much effort? It's just a game after all. However, this feels like something more than just a game. It is our culture, our springtime of youth, our memories, our passion. It is a record of all those things. And this is what really makes MMORPG romantic. This is the part that is the romance of MMORPGs. All your passion and all your energy, those who are really aiming for this first clear and to beat this event, those who are really passionate and are pulling their all into this, it is really moving us. It really gave us the feels. And I can only hope that many others will feel the same thing. And so we don't want to end it like this. I am truly sorry that I have to go against my own words. What we suggest is extending the first clear event just for one more week, our suggestion. And this is truly our last suggestion, the last poll. This is the last poll, <laughs> real last poll. Will you accept prolonging the duration of this bet? Oh, you like that? Okay, okay. Good, good. Thank you. <laughs> Agreed. And so, with all this heat, this passion, all this attention, we will prolong this event. And judging from how the parties that are leading the race, how well they're doing, I think we'll just have to start packaging our gift just the packaging also additionally what we have to say concerning the, the status quo normal gate 3 the difficulty of normal gate 3 is not going as we planned we only have one week worth of data but we do see the need for alleviating some of the difficulties and so after gathering up data for one extra week uh, we will have to apply some nerfs in order to reach that mark that we set. And so we will go on and analyze the data and apply nerfs where needed. All of the attention, all of the eyes are watching this first clear race. But it's really important to cater to those who are playing the game, their feelings, their experience. And so we will hurry and deal with this issue as quickly as we can. We're extremely sorry for the inconveniences. However, for hard mode, we intend to maintain the current difficulty level. And regarding future... For, the, for future raids, we'll have to think about difficulty going on into the future in terms of the direction that Lost Ark wants to take. We'll have to think about that and organize our thoughts. When operating a game and managing one, as opposed to how much attention an event is getting, sometimes those who actually play the game don't really feel the same thing. It doesn't properly correlate sometimes. And so we will have to go and analyze the data. 
This is something that was on our mind before Daymine was released. And once the top 10 clears a cure, I will come back and talk about our conclusion. I'm also extremely thankful about players trying to take care of their own health. However, since this battle will go on for an extra week, a lot of fatigue will ensue. It will accumulate. And so this week especially, I really hope that you take care, good care of your health. To all Lost Ark players, again, I have to say, sincerely, thank you. All of you are really providing us with that purpose, that meaning to all of our work, our efforts. You give meaning to what we do. And for the remaining week, I wish you good luck. And we also wish Daymine good luck. <laughs> Always, truthfully, thankfully, Gold River. Join the Legion of Darkness. Come to deeper darkness. Error 402. The servers. <laughs> Too many people trying to jo join. Try again later. In the queue, 77,000. Okay. So first off, I'll read the Gold River announcement endgame after the first clear happened. Hello, Lost Ark Director Gold River here. Congratulations for the Daymine first clear by the Lost Ark Lovers, which is Captain Jack's crew. And our developers, us developers, would like to formally accept defeat against the players. We will hurry and prepare the gifts with all the packaging. We're going to call a packaging firm. If the Lost Ark lovers are watching this, can they please leave comments? And so if you look at over here, here are some of the comments that they left in, in the ending uh, lobby. Captain Jack. It was all thanks to great teammates. It was great to be able to prove myself, ourselves. I was really happy to have that opportunity. And I'm very thankful to Smallgate developers for creating this such a fun game. Huni. I prove myself with mayhem. Taegyong, the blade. We've lived this past week living like zombies. Now we're free. Good job, all. Gabi, thank you to the Lost Ark lovers. It was such a great raid group through all our trials and errors. I really persevered thinking about the duties, the job that I had to fulfill. And... Fighting to our guild, the Hugyo guild in Carmine server. Tutu the Slayer. This year, I've only been looking forward to this day mine, the first clear for day mine. I've been working my ass off this entire year. And thank you to all our raid members and our fans for this unforgettable piece of memory. Thank you so much. And he sh he's doing a shout out for his own crew, the Lodongdang, based on Africa TV. Buho, the bard. We did such a great job, Lost Ark lovers. I'm so proud of our raid group. Thank you to all the fans for cheering us on and fighting to the Hugyo guild. I guess the, uh, she's in the same guild as Gabi. Duti, the gun lancer, the god lancer. It was such great luck being able to play such a fun raid with these great people at such a fun time. I'm so happy right now. Gun Lancer Carry. Ooh. He has the right to say that. And Pang Tora, the Sork. Once uh, the sun rises tomorrow, I'll go get some. <laughs> I'll go see some sunlight. Oh, that's dangerous, though. Sunlight's always dangerous. Have a nice day, y'all. So those were the comments. 
I wanted to hear because I'm so curious. I want you to leave something in chat or say something through the streams, your streams. Thank you. The, what allows our game, the game that we created, to be such a great game is thanks to all the players, all the adventurers. In the end, Lost Ark lovers, I have so many things to tell you. But there are still a lot of raid groups that are still working towards that clear at the moment. And so, in very soon, I will post an announcement on our website. I'll hurry to write one. And at the end, he says, Lost Ark Lovers, Lost Ark Lovers. So a huge shout out from Gold River himself to the Lost Ark Lovers crew. And thank you. And now, an hour ago, he did post an announcement. So let's go read that. They mine raid first clear. Congratulations. Hello, Sadface. Lost Ark Director Gold River here. As I've mentioned in game through the announcements, the notifications. Congratulations from the bottom of my heart to the Lost Ark lovers who have achieved the first clear in Daymine Raid. We updated the Legion Raid Daymine last week, Wednesday. And until this first clear happened, so many have been giving us such great interest, such great cheering. And for all that, I'm deeply thankful. So many things happened throughout the course of these past few days. But above all, this time really shined because of uh, this beautiful challenge, your beautiful challenge. It was a great time for us developers, all of us developers. It was a time of surprise and excitement for all the cheering and the passion, the, the great interest that people had, every one of you guys had towards our game. The Thaimine Raid was a very important turning point for Lost Ark in order for it to be able to be serviced for a long period of time going into the future. We thought that it would be an important turning point. And so we wanted to at least once have this very difficult raid so that we could look back at the direction at which Lost Ark is headed. We were able to organize our own thoughts about that. And so it was a very, very precious time. The direction that Lost Ark was headed towards was allowing more players to be able to enjoy the game. That was our focal point. But as it happened, so many Legion raid commanders, the raids appeared. And so you guys might have had more greed, more passion to be challenged with difficulties difficult raids and so for a very long while we've been preparing the stay mine raid in such a way that we'll make it a formidable opponent a difficult challenge and this decision came with a lot of fear for us as well mechs can be uh it's very easy to be Become expert at mechs, but if a raid becomes physical prowess based, then reaching that expertise point can be very difficult. There will be a lot of discrepancy between those who are able to do it and those who cannot. And this plunged us into thoughts. For the Brel Shaza raid, considering this element of expertise, we created it in such a way that it was mechanics heavy. And the difficulty in terms of mechanics was very high, which led to a lot of complaints from users, from players. That was our mistake in judgment. But the raids that were created from then on used this lesson, made use of this lesson that we learned from Brel, 
and we have received good feedback on those. But for Thaymine, we had to go against this direction. And so it made us somewhat afraid of how players would take this in. But whatever would transpire, we wanted Thaymine Raid to be a great challenge. So we set out to go with this decision. If there's anything that we missed while creating this Thaymine Raid, anything that we were lacking on, we will go back on this on these points and we will polish the raid and develop on it, develop it. And while watching all these passion, all, all these passionate people who are watching over this first clear event, we realized that there were a lot of things that we were neglecting when it comes to the genre of MMORPGs. Sometimes a really truly formidable great challenge leads to stories in MMORPGs. It takes the spotlight, becomes the great issue. And so even if you are not enjoying the raid itself, it can be a very exciting time. On the other hand though, we also have to think about players who are playing the game themselves. We are so thankful to all the those who have great interest in the game that we've created. And these players are so precious to us. But at the same time, we also have to think about those players who are playing the game themselves. Those players are our priority. And so moving forward, if there's too much inflation when it comes to difficulty regarding the raids beyond Daymine, I do not think that the game will have such a bright future. In conclusion, for future raids, we will continue creating them more like the raids that we created before. So talking about Akan, Vodaik, and Kangol. However, for important raids, we will indeed create them alongside Hell Modes and release them side by side. And for first clear events and honor rewards, those will only be provided in hell modes. To summarize, for hard modes, we will continue working with the direction that Lost Ark has been working with. It will not be at the level of Thaymine, but it might be a bit harder than all the raids that we had up up to this point. We will maintain this direction and for first clear events, the honor associated with it will be provided through hell modes and they will be released at the same time for some radical challenges. This will be hard on our side because we'll have to be working on different difficulty levels at the same time. But for Kazros, for important raids like Kazros, we intend to do as such. Apart from that, as we have promised for vertical content going on in the future, we will focus on those. So we will focus on releasing vertical content and we will progress with that. And we will also uh, work on horizontal content to the extent that is does not harm the progress of vertical content release. And alongside that, just like the CG trailer that we released recently, we will try to come up with ways to satisfy players outside of the game itself. Once the top 10 for the Daymine Raid, the, the, the top 10, 10 raid groups have been decided for the Daymine Raid, we will be working on those aspects. I'm not sure what kind of uh, adjustments he's talking about here. Or maybe he's just talking about future content. Because adjustments here seems like uh, adjustments towards the Daymine Raid. And if the top 10 is delayed, at the very least we'll be applying these adjustments before the 5th anniversary event. Ah, we're still thinking about the direction, the methodology. But perhaps the current difficulty level will become something akin to a hell mode. 
Oh, okay, okay. So like maybe nerf the current hard mode and then release the current difficulty level as a sidetrack. But I'm not sure what, he, uh, what this insinuates. Will this hell mode be equalized content or will it be uh, unequalized? I think he's talking about it becoming unequalized. So like the way it is right now. Yeah, kind of like extreme vaulting, right? I'm think I'm thinking uh, that's the direction he intends to take it. Lastly, this first clear event, the bet that we had regarding it, was not something that we had planned beforehand. We kind of went with the flow during our Daymine showcase while we were presenting it live, and just on the spot, we just had this we just had this idea of a of a bet between the devs and the players, and we. Because we had not thought about this, uh, we had not prepared presents. And so we're still thinking about what would be the best present that we can offer you. But one of the ideas that came out... Oh? Wait, really? One of the ideas that we had was just like League of Legends World's winner's team gets to influence the the skins that will be released like to to commemorate their their victory so maybe we'll create skins that are based on the first clear team their their wear ah not not skins but emotes releasing emotes that are inspired by the first clear team oh okay okay emote of a sword touching grass Apart from that, we're also preparing various different gifts. And so if you are a bit patient, we'll wrap it up in a nice way. And we will present you with these gifts that hold in them our, our feelings, our thoughts, our soul. For all those who do not play Lost Ark and still have a lot of interest, hot interest in it. For those who keep heading on, fighting against the great challenge that is Lost Ark. And for all those who are still enjoying Lost Ark, I have to say once again, thank you sincerely from the bottom of my heart. Thank you. And we will continue doing our best with the game. Thank you very much. Gold River. Nice. And the race still goes on. Only the first clear team has been decided. There are still nine teams that can get a slot in the top 10. So 72 more players still have a chance to go down in history. There's a last drag. <laughs> so if any of you paid a fee to enter the Legion of Darkness, uh, you will not be reimbursed that fee. And there is more to the Daymine story.